This video shows you how to determine the standard enthalpy of formation of glucose using Hess's law. Statement for Hess's law. The heat change evolved or absorbed in a reaction is the same whether the reaction takes place in one step or several steps. In this problem, we will determine the heat of formation of glucose. You are provided the following information. Heat of combustion of glucose, which is minus 2826 kilojoules per mole of glucose. Heat of formation of water in the gas phase. And the value is minus 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Heat of formation of carbon dioxide and the value is minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Using the above equation, we will solve for the heat of formation of glucose. The first thing to do would be to write equations for the given data or for enthalpy of combustion of glucose. And the equation is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives you 6CO2 plus 6H2O. And enthalpy of combustion of glucose is minus 2826 kilojoules. The next you are provided with the heat of formation of water. And the equation is H2 plus O2 gives you H2O. And the standard enthalpy of formation is minus 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Heat of formation of carbon dioxide is C solid plus O2 gas giving CO2 gas. And enthalpy of formation is minus 393.5 kilojoules. So we have three equations, X, Y, and Z. We are going to use these to determine the standard enthalpy of formation of glucose. Every time you are solving a problem using Hess's law and equations, we will write what we call the target equation first. In this case, the target equation is 6C plus 6H2 plus 3O2 giving you C6H12O6. And we need to find out the standard enthalpy of formation of glucose. By definition, the standard enthalpy of formation is the energy released when one mole of the compound is formed from its respective elements in the standard state. So this target equation is as written. Next, we will rearrange the three given equations and enthalpy changes for those reactions so that when we add all the three equations, we will get the target equation. This is the target equation. 6C plus 6H2 plus 3O2 gas gives you C6H12O6. So what we are going to do is, when you add the three equations seen earlier, we should get this equation. The enthalpy of combustion reaction has glucose in the reactants. We need to have glucose in the products so that when you add them up, you get glucose as a product in the target equation. In order to do that, we perform a process called flipping the equation. So we will take the enthalpy of combustion equation and flip it, and this is how it will change. The products have become the reactants, and the reactants have become the product. And at the same time, the enthalpy change has changed its sign combustion, the enthalpy change was negative. When you flip the equation, the enthalpy change is positive right now. Now in this equation, there are six moles of carbon dioxide and six moles of water. So we are going to use the standard enthalpy of formation of water for six moles of water, which means we need to multiply the equation for enthalpy of formation of water by six. So we have produced six moles of water as needed in the balanced equation for the combustion of glucose. 
Similarly, we are going to produce 6 moles of carbon dioxide. So we are going to multiply the equation by 6 and you will get 6 moles of carbon dioxide. Next, we will add the three equations. Adding the three equations, this is what you will get. We have written all the products and all the reactants on either side of the arrow and we will cancel the common terms. First, we will cancel oxygen. If you look on the reactant side, there are 9 moles of oxygen. And on the product side, there are 6 moles of oxygen. So, if you cancel the oxygen atoms, what would remain is 3 moles of oxygen on the reactant side. Next, we will cancel the water molecule. If you look in the equation, you will find that there are 6 moles of hydrogen in the reactant side and 6 moles in the product side. Since they are equal, they will both be cancelled. Next, we will cancel the carbon dioxide molecules. We have 6 moles on the left and 6 moles on the right. And on cancelling them, we will get the target equation. What remains now is the target equation. This equation represents the formation of one mole of glucose from its elements. Now we will add the corresponding enthalpies to get the enthalpy change for the formation of one mole of glucose. We had three equations with the, pro with the appropriate energy terms. The combustion of glucose flipped, the enthalpy change is 2826 kilojoules. Enthalpy of formation of 6 moles of water is 6 times 241. And enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide for 6 moles is 6 times minus 393.5. Adding the 3 together, this is what you will get. Minus 985 kilojoules per mole. Or the standard enthalpy of formation of glucose is minus 985 kilojoules per mole. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.